on May 30th, the trailer of the movie Article 15 dropped. A movie directed by Anubhav Sena and starring Ayushman Khurrana, Sayani Gupta, Manoj Pawa, Mohammad Ayub, Kumud Mishra and several other talented actors. The trailer was hands down a representation of how far the Hindi film industry has come to actually showcase the reality of the surface level secularism that our country is proud of. Not only was the trailer extremely intense and gripping but also left us in a deep thought process of how as a country we may have come so far yet in so many aspects with our personal bias and inherent differences we still heavily follow and abide by we are still miles behind. Here's discussing everything you need to know about the movie and why I think the movie will be a comp- belling watch in theaters and will surely blow the masses away what is article 15 before we get into the meat of the movie and everything about it let's just do a brief civics lesson on what exactly is the article 15 in the constitution of india that was effective from 26 january 1950 the chief architect of which was b r ambedkar is actually about the supreme law of india that provides information of the general functioning of the government and the fundamental rights and duties of the citizens of the country article 15 lays down four points with respect to the prohibition of discrimination nation on the basis of religion race caste sex or place of birth one being that the state cannot discriminate on the basis of any of these grounds second none of the citizens will be discriminated on such grounds in order to access public restaurants hotels wells ghats or any provision or service open for public use and finally there will be nothing in this article that can prevent the state from making special provisions for women children or any socially or educationally backward section of society sounds fair right but we all know what really happens on the ground level the movie lays clear emphasis on how these articles have been created to abide and live by and despite such clear instructions we as a population are set in our regressive ways creating differences and barriers among people that are our very own What is the movie based on? The movie is based on the 2014 event that took place in the Katra village of Badayun district in Uttar Pradesh where two Dalit women were found hung to death from a tree. What in initial reports by the police was found that both the women were raped and murdered by strangulation by hanging them on a tree. When the case got national as well as international attention, the CBI took over the case and nullified the initial reports and stated that the women had actually committed suicide and no rape took place. Even rejecting the doctor's report who had never conducted a rape test before stating that it was inconsequential as the person was not experienced in those grounds the real life case is absolutely frustrating and sickening to read about it is a repetition of what is socially wrong with our country today two lower caste women something that should be inconsequential two humans are found hanging on a tree in a village and the police provides little to no guidance to the family when they could not find their children the up stf ig had the audacity to hold a press conference and state this about the particular case ghatnaye ho rahi hain ye baat aap jo keh rahe hain lekin ye aisa nahi ki achanak hi kuch aisa aap keh rahe hain ki trend hua hai jo rape ki sankhya dekhenge to tv almost 10 rapes a day unfazed by the brutality of the case Even the chief minister in power at the time upon being questioned about the heinous crime had this reply as if it proved anything Ye Pradesh ki kanun vyavastha ke bare mein kya hua Kanun vyavast abhi aapko to khatra nahi hua Aapko koi khatra nahi hua Bahut dhanyawad The movie will take the real life event expand on it more as they add a third sister into the mix who goes missing and focus on the key problems through several added layers on what our society is plagued by We see Ayushman Khurrana find himself in a place and around people who have their own inherent bias and issues with several factions More of that in the conclusion of this video. Anubhav Sena on his resurgence. Anubhav Sena especially in his initial years of directing films has been quite a forgettable creator, making movies that had little to no impact with the masses. By bagging Rao 1 in 2011, it seemed to be the highest break in his career. But despite the scale of the film, it could not really kickstart into other promising projects in the future years to come. But then we saw the director come on a whole new creative avatar with the 2018 film Mulk, focusing more on relevant and human stories that have a lasting impact and connect with the masses of India. With Article 15 the horrifying yet important story that it tells and the casting coup of Ayushman uh, Khurrana i feel like this movie is destined to be sinha's most impactful work this is all speculation but i have a great feeling about this venture Ayushman Khurrana and script choices. Khurrana has been on a rampage when it comes to picking stories that the masses will connect with and lead to some of the craziest financial margins when it comes to films. From 2017, Bareilly ki Barfi, Shubh Mangal, Savdhan, Andhadhun, Badhaiyo all have been unique stories that have been welcomed by the Indian audience with open arms. I feel however that after Andhadhun this is Ayushman Khurrana's biggest challenge, completely transforming himself from the light-hearted characters and films he's featured in and now in an intense, gripping and horrifyingly brutal 
brutal premise. This is not the movie Khurana can get away with his charm and one-liners that he is almost always associated with. This is the time where Khurana has to showcase his chops as a dramatic actor and through the trailer I can surely say one thing, the man seems to be in his element and I have no doubt in saying that he will definitely surprise us with an engaging performance. Why is this movie important? I want to say that this movie is important and should be viewed by the Indian audience in theaters because it does nothing else but provide us a reflection of what is actually going on in our country. How it's been ingrained in our head to not look at people in the eye and communicate with them as humans but gauge whether it would be okay in society if we interacted with someone. Humans do not have a choice of which family and caste they take birth in, yet we will associate that caste or their stature in society all their life. We will provide to them what they are worth and treat them nothing better than second class citizens. This inherent bias is clear through several instances in the movie. How just because the two girls who have been murdered are Dalits, it's already assumed that it might be an honor killing or a suicide. A credible case from this section of society is considered to be impossible. Asking for a rise in daily wages by 3 rupees is considered to be a want they dare not make because inki zaat ki wo okad nahi hai. This movie is important in showing the apathy we show towards several sections of society, the lackluster nature of work and corruption that persists in the police force and the typical ye to hote rehta hai attitude. We have to come out of and speak out and do something about the several instances of injustice that take place in our country on a daily basis. And that was the video guys. Write it down in the comments below of what you thought about the movie trailer and what do you think will be its fate in theatres. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.